mange in cats can have several different types of appearances because there are several different types of mange. Normally when you talk about mange um, or a mangy cat, a lot of people think or refer to something that might be going on in a dog, uh, scabies or demodex. Um, but cats are very rarely get a, what we call a demodectic mange. Uh, so the two things that I would, re when I normally hear when people say my cat has mange or I think it has mange, it's usually referring to one which is called, uh, it's actually like a walking dandruff. Uh, the mites are very small uh, and they look like just little flakes of uh, dandruff on the, on the coat of the cat. It's a lot easier to see that in a black cat than it is on a white cat or in uh, other uh, other colors, but it is possible. Mange in general, fortunately, is fairly rare. So m many times when people think their cat has mange, they'll come in or I'll go look at them. I would say one, if somebody says, I think I, my cat has mange, out of the 10 different things there are, maybe I see mange once out of those 10. Mm -hmm. uh, and not even that. So it's usually something else. So just give you a heads up that normally when we think about mange, it's not, it's not all that common. But many times when you look at a cat initially, uh, the mange mite, uh, and it's caused by mites, I should refer to that. They're, two, they're actually, mites are like spiders and they're uh, very tiny, they're microscopic. And many times when we have to actually diagnose mange, we have to take a scraping of the cat or take a look at these little dandruff flakes and look under the microscope with them. Uh, fortunately, mange uh, is treatable. But uh, before I get to that, the, when you, it could be around the ear of the cat uh, or around other extremities, but many times it just looks moth-y, what I call moth-y. There's just uh, little hair loss in different places. Uh, some mange is very uh, paritic, meaning it's, it, they, have, they itch a lot, and other mange isn't so itchy. Uh, so sometimes when a cat's itching a lot, it's not just the hair loss, but they'll actually start scratching themselves and they'll get ulcerated areas in their skin. Uh, so it might even look a little bloody or scabby. Um, but fortunately, like I said, it is treatable. Um, and one of the treatments that I like to use, it's very simple, uh, although it needs to be done for several months, uh, is this product called Revolution. Um, sounds like a great name. Uh, maybe at one time it was a revolution. They, a lot of products like this uh, that are out now, uh, and they're just pour on. You put on the back of the cat and just put it on, apply it once a month and it seems to work very well. Uh, this, this product also takes care of ear mites and heartworm and uh, mange mites, like I said, fleas. Uh, it doesn't do ticks, and there's another product for that, but that's basically uh, a very all good all-around product for mange and cats.